Good morning. Uh, for today's quotes, I'd like to give you a, a selection of some more humorous, uh, uh, humorous quotes. Narcissism has two eyes in it, and they both hate each other. Anyone who sees a psychiatrist ought to have his head examined. And don't take life too seriously. You'll never get out of it alive. Or this one, don't be so serious. If you can't laugh at yourself, call me. I'll laugh at you. And then one of my favorites, behind every great man is a woman rolling her eyes. Or I'm reading an anti-gravity book. It's impossible to put down. And finally, a joke for you. What did the digital clock say to its mom? Look, Ma, no hands! This is your daily Elmira Baptist Church update for Friday, May 1st, 2020. We're off to a fresh start this month, and I hope that the Lord will bless you with joy, because the joy of the Lord is our strength. Let me wish a happy anniversary to Doyle and Christina Bean. They are celebrating their 24th anniversary today. Many of you are using Sermon Audio. Let me say a big thank you. They send me a report every month about our, our page there on Sermon Audio. And in the month of April, we had 305 visitors to our Sermon Audio page and 2,068 page views. Several of the messages there, including... Uh, Tim uh, Schmidt's message from last year about unity have been downloaded over 100 times. So please avail yourself of that useful resource, Sermon Audio. And thank you for your giving. I am thrilled to report that in the month of April, even though we did not meet a single time at the location at Calif on California Pacific Road, still you all gave as the Lord led you. And more money came in than we even budgeted to come in. So thank you. Keep up the good work and may the Lord continue to provide for each of your financial needs. Also, don't forget, 945 this morning, we will have a Sunday school hour. WT will be teaching again. I'm looking forward to it. I was there last week and I'll be there again this week. Again, in a lighter vein, let me tell you that I heard recently that Hasbro has come out with a new version of Monopoly. It's called Coronopoly. Uh, instead of receiving $200, you will receive $1,200 when you pass go. Instead of a free parking space, there is a space labeled free testing. No rent is charged on any of the properties. When you land on either of the utilities, the electric utility or the water utility, you roll the dice and then ignore the bill. All the railroads have been replaced with airlines, United, Delta, American, Southwest, and all of them are closed. If you go to jail, you stay in jail until someone else lands on the go to jail site, and then the first one is released because of social distancing. And finally, my favorite, there is no winner. Back to more serious things, a couple of prayer requests came in yesterday. Would you pray for John and Kayla Marfil? They uh, have some decisions ahead of them about housing, where they are living currently. They'll need to vacate that place in the next 12 months or so, and they would like God's uh, direction. And I, I know the Lord's going to give them an opportunity for the home He wants them to have. And these young families are such an important part of our church. So you pray, if you would, with me that the Lord would direct John and Kayla. And then if you pray for Christina Stockton and her extended family, we have been praying for her Aunt Tony. And yesterday, her Aunt Tony went on to be with the Lord in heaven. So we're excited uh, that uh, she was saved, that we know where she's at. We can praise the Lord for that, but it's never easy to lose a loved one. Please pray for her family. I picked for our verse this morning, Psalm 144, 15. Psalm 144, 15. It's a verse you probably know. It's one of those verses when I quote it to you, you're going to say, oh yeah, I know that. But Psalm 144, 15 says, Happy is that people that is in such a case. Yea, happy is that people whose God is the Lord. We're happy because the Lord has blessed us. 
We're not happy because our circumstances are just the way we want them to be. We're happy because God continues to provide for us. We're not happy because we got a stimulus check from the government. No, we're happy because we know God is our provider. And then when he opens the windows of heaven, more is given to us than we ever can imagine. We're not happy because everyone is healthy necessarily. We're happy because our names are written in the Lamb's book of life. We're, we're not happy because the weather is nice and we're going to be able to go outside today. We're happy because God is good. And every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. I hope Psalm 144, 15 is your verse this morning. Happy is that people that are in such a case. Yea, happy is that people whose God is the Lord. Look for the little things that God blesses you with today and be happy. And remember, I'll seize the day tomorrow.